Siri Raul Joshi. Can I locate him here? Yes. He parted company too soon. Ham to bhot lamba rasta lekar chal rahe the. MD and Group Editor in Chief, Network 18. Acclaimed awardees. They inspire us. They motivate us. They have brought to the country laurels. The one from outside is also our cultural ambassador, recipient of our civilian award. Distinguished audience, but there are some male members also. <laughs> well, they are included. Media persons, well, this is something very difficult. I would say nothing at the moment. It, it might generate a controversy um, bigger than I can handle. Because when you take to the path of truth, you earn friends who are not friendly to you. Am I right? I deem it, Rahulji, an absolute honor to be associated with the second season of News 18, Sri Shakti. A privilege to share my thoughts on the holistic approach to women empowerment, an issue of huge contemporaneous relevance to human resource across the globe. I am not apologetic to address on this issue, merely because I am a male. I have been nurtured by my mother, my nani, my dadi. I have to repay their debt, and therefore I am qualified to make my contribution, humble contribution, on woman empowerment. कहते हैं कि शुरुआत जब अच्छी होती है, शुभ लगन में होती है, शुभ मूर्त में होती है, तो नतीजे बहुत जल्दी आते हैं। The present is an illustration of it, a pleasant coincidence. News 18 से शक्ति लॉन्च्ड इन अगस्त 2023, and what happened the very next month? September 2023. Constitutional prescription for reservation of women to the extent of one third in Lok Sabha and state legislatures. <laughs> and what a gratifying moment! For three decades, our women, mothers, and sisters waited patiently. Efforts were made. Either they were aborted or they were unsuccessful. But on September 28, 2023, the Honorable President of India, Srinivati Draupadi Murmu, the first tribal woman to occupy that august high office in Bharat, home to one-sixth of humanity, she penned her signatures under Article 111, and it became a constitutional provision. What an accomplishment, what a coincidence. Friends, reservation in Lok Sabha and state legislatures to the extent of one-third is epochal development. It is bound to be game-changer. On a global benchmark, it is the most revolutionary step ever taken on the planet to empower women. I pose a question to myself, who are we to empower women? They are repository of power. Power resides in you. It is just that you have discovered your power. It is not a gift of anyone. You have earned your due, I would say belatedly. 
but it has fructified at a time which is a moment to be ever cherished by me. I happen to be chairman Rajya Sabha when this was passed. But what will be the impact? Impact will be women in that number plus. This is minimum assurance. There will be more women. They will be part of policy making. They will be part of decision making. They will be part of governance. And they will be compulsively part of governance. I can imagine parliament with more than one third women. It is going to be all order. No disruption. No disturbance. Debate, dialogue, discussion will take place. And they will bring on the table huge experience. They know firsthand how to nurture human resource. They have nurtured all males. Many of them nuisance in early childhood and thereafter. Some very taunt. But they never gave up hope. Patiently they persecuted in their sublime activity. They nurtured us. And therefore, I am rightly speaking before you. I am repaying a debt. Friends, what is the meaning of democracy? Democracy does not mean some uh, one party comes to power. No. Democracy means there must be evolution of a mechanism that allows each of us to exploit our talent, realize our potential, fructify our dreams and aspirations. And that includes the most important component of humanity, 50% of humanity, the women. Presently, what I find all around, in the nation and outside, there is a daunting scenario for those who are challenged, those who are vulnerable. And some people have the audacity to call women the weaker sex. They are terribly wrong. Power resides in you. Look at what has happened over the ages. Such a scenario has to change. The happy thing is, the fortunate development is, it is soothing to note that in recent years, affirmative governance, initiatives taken, policies made, they have facilitated this exploitation of talent. Democracy is defined by the mechanism it has, not for the rich, not for the privileged, not for the privileged pedigree, which of course is gone now. We don't have privileged pedigree. It has slip of tongue by me. Privileged pedigree in this court, in this case, is non-existent. All are equal. But democracy is primarily meant for whom? It is meant for those who are vulnerable, those who are challenged, those who need hand-holding so that their real talent, which is handicapped by challenges, is overcome. Friends, women empowerment will be boosted. By whom? By women. No one else. You don't need right to make a choice. Please make your choice. You don't wait someone to tell you to access opportunities. Access them. You control your funds. You be economically independent. And you have full control over your lives. The system could not be more affirmative than it is at the moment. In Vedas, we had women, great scholars. They dominated the scene to name Gargi, Maitri, Visambhra, and Apala. 
and let me remind you friends in vedic kal the prestige and dignity of women was at peak but the decline took place thereafter a son was desired and birth of a daughter was viewed as a sign of sadness participation in political gathering ceased we had evolution of menacing trends like child marriage sati system dowry so there was a time when men and women were equal and that was about 1500 years before christ they were on the same pedestal contributing with the equality somewhere we lost the way but gratifying we are finding that way we are getting into the right groove earnest efforts are being made to regain the past glory women reservation as i said in legislatures is one such step in the right direction undoubtedly education its availability health care and economic independence they are key to securing empowerment without these you will only be hand holding you will develop parasitical tendencies empowerment means empowerment that they empower you they exploit their own talent they are not dependent they are interdependent in a society and i have no doubt in saying i am product of one education education is the beginning point if education shall be available then the chains of inequality will be shattered rightly it has been said by money you educate a boy you educate one you educate a girl you educate the entire family and this is a ground reality i have always believed and subscribed and i am sure no one will disagree education is the most impactful transformative mechanism to bring about equality to cut into inequities to generate level playing field this is being done massively and the results are un encouraging but after much is being done beti padhao is a great success our women are participating in every facet of governance they are exemplifying dedication commitment and talent but gender equality eludes them still in any system including the one that is before me somehow or the other the gender equality is eluding us gender discri discrimination has ostensibly vanished but it has assumed subtle forms subtle forms which you can't fight you can't describe and that is the area where we have to hit the hardest subtle discretion di discrimination is far more dangerous than the overt one because overt one you can resist but subtle discrimination your difficulty in resisting i appeal to you to rise to the occasion there has been a paradigm shift i wouldn't say in last decade they will take it is a political development but then that's what it is 
बेटी पढ़ाओ वेर इज पुलिस मुद्रा मुद्रा हैज गिवन वीमन दैट काइंड ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस दे आर बिकम इंप्लॉयर्स दे इंप्लॉय देम सेल्स एंड दे इंप्लॉय अदर्स अ बिग चेंज एंड देर फोर द पैराडाइम शिफ्ट हैज टेकन प्लेस फ्रॉम वुमन डेवलपमेंट टू वुमन लेड डेवलपमेंट एक्सेप्ट फ्यू मेल्स हियर अदर्स वुड हैव रिजॉइस्ड the budget presented by the finance minister nirmala sitaraman she created history as the first full woman finance minister of this nation the largest democracy and she had a record also overtaking that of murari desai that's one example at a global horizon you will find women are making impactful presence and when we talk of holistic empowerment of women we are not talking of something new our constitution has it our constitutional essence is spirit and capacitates it and what does our preamble ordain justice liberty and equality for all citizens that is what we are discussing we have to realize it as a matter of fact this is not new to india our civilizational ethos of thousands of years have it look around the globe bharat is a mine store of wisdom and knowledge on every facet and that we are revealing to the world and the world is benefiting enormously by that some male are present here i find they are slightly subdued <laughs> but you will have to change your mindset come on be a man what does it mean don't be a girl are kya hai kaun si duniya mein ho halat badal utne hi halat badal chuke hain jitne halat badalte hue maine dekhe i was elected to parliament in 1989 i was a minister tab maine kya dekha bharat ki arthyavastha london shahar और पेरिस शहर से छोटी थी चिड़िया सोने की चिड़िया वाला देश और हमारा सोना राहुल जी आई एम स्पीकिंग टू योर एमडी आई शुड नॉट बी मिसअंडरस्टूड आई शुड नॉट एक्चुअल बी मिसअंडरस्टूड सोने की चिड़िया कहना कहलाने वाले देश का फॉरेन एक्सचेंज वो ड्विंटलिंग between 1 billion and 2 billion dollars your editor in chief today had the occasion to interview the finance minister am i right and now it is over 680 billion but it was placed to two banks in physical form this is it maine kya dekha jab kashmir gaya mantri ki aise se centaur hotel mein ruke the dal lake ke kone par बीस तीस लोग भी नहीं दिख रहे थे नाउ ऑफिशियल रिकॉर्ड मोर देन टू करोड टूरिस्ट विजिटेड जम्मू एंड कश्मीर लास्ट ईयर वॉट आई मीन टू से कि आपको माइंडसेट बदलने में क्या लगता है जब भारत इतना बदल चुका है वी हैव ट्रेवल्स्ड अ जर्नी अगेंस्ट हेडविंड्स difficult terrain negotiated getting slot from fragile five to big five economies on way to becoming third largest global economy in two years what is stops you from changing your mindset when per capita digital consumption of an indian is more than that of china and us taken together 
there was a time when a prime minister named me i'm not criticizing him good friend of mine but he lamented ki delhi se paisa bhejta hu pata nahi kahan likhe jo jata hai 15 paise poochta hai ab kya ho gaya hai ab kamal ho gaya hai seedha account mein poochta hai no human interface no middleman no lion agent and there was a time when our power corridors were infested with corrupt elements you could not have a contract opportunity without bringing them in picture power corridors have been sanitized our mindset badliye i appeal to my male community let us repay the debt to our mothers and sisters and grandmothers and nannies and look at the another change which has taken place था एक जमाना पीपल एंटरटेन द आइडिया वॉट कैन लोड डू टू अस दे फॉर गॉट बी यू एवर सो हाई द लो इज अबाउ यू दे से नो सम क्रेजी पर्सन सेट सो इट इज नॉट द रियलिटी इन इंडिया बट नाउ यू मस्ट हैव सीन ग्राउंड रियलिटी इज देयर ऑल आर इक्वल बी फॉर लो ऑल आर अकाउंटेबल ऑल आर विद इन द रीच ऑफ स्ट्रंगल होल्ड ऑफ लो and not only that the law is in fact befriending them it is happening when so much is happening for the better i appeal to the male society please change your mindset before it is too late gender sanitization and sensitization both i say sanitization i refer to males or sensitization i want to see that our girls and women get into the right frame it is of paramount importance friends we must be firmly dismissive and contemptuous of insane thoughts of the kind that belittle barbarity barbarity of rape and murder of a female doctor in kolkata while in hospital on duty and someone calls it a symptomatic symptomatic malaise what a shame we are accountable to our conscience our hearts should bleed this is an issue for atonement to get into correctional mode we cannot suffer and therefore i come to another aspect again rahul ji the editor in our country we have given iconic status to people we elevated to them great heights in all fields including journalism for what they are good at event management they manage their affairs well they become great because we are not with them then they become our guides then they go to the extent of saying oh what happened in bangladesh can happen here i tell you mindset change is required not only for gender justice mindset is required also for our commitment to nationalism we cannot allow people day in and day out to overlook national interest for selfish and partisan interests we in this country have to understand we are a civilization more than 5000 years old deeply embedded in virtuosity sublimity it is our first duty to secure gender justice and that is part of our nationalism we must nurture it as much as we can let me tell you which my male friends have ignored did you have the occasion to see a spectacular republic day parade on kartavya path in 2024 january we were absent sir my male friends 
they were there in full bloom in combat positions in cultural positions आज की नारी थल जल आकाश और अंतरिक्ष ने धूम मचा रखी है वेन आई वेंट टू इसरो टू कॉम्प्लीमेंट द टीम फॉर चंद्रयान थ्री सक्सेस वहां भी शिव शक्ति पॉइंट है ज्यादा फर्क नहीं है तिरंगा पॉइंट है Suddenly, I have all women contingent led by the rocket woman. Our science institutions are headed by them. They have sterling qualities, enormous capacity to contribute. I appeal to our sisters. Please address the challenges. Smash the glass ceiling. that comes in the way of your advancement and let me tell you the glass is brittle you only have to take the lead india is a structured democracy and no one in the world has that democracy india has constitutionally structured democracy at the village level at the taluka level at the district level apart from at the state and central level and therein you will be surprised to learn at the moment 1.4 million women are elected to panchayat raj institutions 1.4 million many country don't have even that much population many of them and therefore i would urge empowerment in general and women empowerment in particular is the premise on which we will sustain our economic upsurge unprecedented exponential infrastructural rise when we are taken today as a global leader the image of our nation is very different when our nation speaks through the prime minister the voice is heard because that voice matters therefore if we change our mindset we are not losers ye to pura fayda hi fayda hai ye fayde ka kaam karo iski shuruaat yahan se ho rahi hai second season the first season and parliament was shaken and we had reservation second season things are improving ये सीजन जब बढ़ता जाएगा इसकी व्यूवरशिप भी बढ़ती जाएगी रेलवेस भी बढ़ती जाएगी एंड द रिजल्ट्स विल बी इंक्रीमेंटल एंड जियोमेट्रिक आई नो डाउट अबाउट इट आई अपील टू ऑल नाउ दिस इज एड्रेस टू ऑल नॉट टू अ पर्टिकुलर जेंडर इन आवर कंट्री वी नीड टू हैव पॉजिटिव अप्रोच वी नीड टू गेट अवे फ्रॉम नेगेटिविज्म we must not yield to sensationalism because that's the easiest way i look on occasions the same story going on all the channels and each channel claiming we are the first one and they say we are breaking the story and they say it is exclusive to us what do i do you are doing something which was known much before we are living in tough times most closely guarded secrets are open secrets on the street people just don't talk about it if we don't believe in our nationalism the heart of indian mind is hurt our sentiments are crushed if you do it outside fraternize with those who have inimical ideas about this nation our heart bleeds not for their stance but for their ignorance let us enlighten them another aspect i only two points to be made rahul ji only two points to be made very brief ones be very 
of self-serving individuals. They will become champions of their cause. There will be much growth of institutions, mushroom growth. They will come with innovative ideas. And we will never ask them tough questions. I personally feel Indian woman does not require hand holding to secure her rights. She can do it very well. We have to provide only structured mechanism of education, health care, economic independence, and enhance the basket of opportunities for them. And therefore, my appeal to my sisters, overcome all barriers, visible and invisible. Invisible ones are more dangerous because they have ill intent, malafide the approach. They wish to monetize in the name of helping you. Therefore, deal with them tough. Discriminatory treatment, even if subtle. And it will be often, ample in times, you'll find subtle discri discrimination. Rebuff it spiritedly. Don't allow the snowball without the ball being sent outside the stadium. Once you do it, others will not have to do it. You would have played for your entire sector. So don't hesitate. Time to effect change you need. You have to bring about that change. You have to aspire for change rather than seek change. You are not a passenger in the vehicle. You are at the driver's seat and therefore you steer it. I commend this initiative of News 18, Shi Shakti. I wish it a great success. And I have no doubt, I'm confident, I'm optimistic. It's a great service to humanity because awareness about gender justice will get incremental trajectory. Thank you so much. <clears throat> and thank you for your patience. Namaskar.